Good evening off-grid fans. Well, beautiful day today. We are the 15th of April and today I've got over nine kilowatt hours of solar energy. So a great day for photon collection. But uh, that's not what we're here for today. Today we're going to discuss how bad winter is for solar. Um, in in February, I downloaded everything that was in the log of the uh, of the uh, MPPT, and that was from the middle of uh, the middle of September. And then last night, I downloaded what it's got in now, which included a lot of what it already had. But um, basically, I've got from uh, from the middle of September until the middle of April uh, graft graft up pulled out all the all some data and uh, I like to geek out on stats and maybe some of you out there do as well so I'm going to uh, put the graph up on the screen and uh, do a bit of stat geeking but um, what one one quick stat is that today with nine over nine kilowatt hours uh, I've got more today than I did for the entire month of December or the entire month of January. Both of those, I got eight kilowatt hours for the entire month. So today, for a day in April, I have got more, more solar than an entire month in winter. So that is how bad winter is, but let's have a look at it in graph form. Okay, let's have a look and see what we can learn from this graph. So what I've done here is I've got the uh, the record nearest to midnight from a day. So it had the minimum maximum battery voltage for that day, which I can uh, interpret. Um, and obviously the whole amount of the solar. So as I say, um, because uh, and the line that you can see that is uh, in the middle of February, uh, that's when I would downloaded uh, the information previously, and then I've got I've got some new information uh, to, to add. So hence why we've we've got seven months of. Um, of data and uh, roughly centered around the the winter solstice so we can uh, interpret what's going on and see just how bad because the last few weeks have been awesome for solar but how bad it was uh, during winter so let's have a quick look at how we're doing now and then we've got something to compare it against being that now is awesome uh, also, uh, if we're looking at the monthly, then it is the secondary axis scale, uh, but it's just 10 times. So we've got 80 kilowatt hours on this axis uh, for the day. It's eight would be on the same level. So nice and easy to, um, to look. So as you can see, halfway through April, we are already past that 80 kilowatt hours for the month basically I, now it's actually a day later and i've just had a nine kilo hour day so i'm above what i've had for march halfway through the month so that's where we're where we're heading march was was plenty good enough for my for my minimums uh, so there we are at for, for the month 80 uh in march and we're probably going to be say 150 160 for april so let's have a look back at last September. So as you can see, September, 80 kilowatt hours for the month, much like March. Uh, and that's, that, that, that's, that's plenty for, for me to be able to use. Uh, unfortunately, uh, I then, uh, in the middle of October, I did two weeks trail building at, uh, at Gisborne and it was I didn't have enough I can manage with sort of one and I was getting that but I do want to use a little bit uh, a little bit more I had the generator with me so basically I cooked tea on my halogen oven 
uh, with the generator going for a few hours at night and that also had a 30 amp charger putting some into the uh, into the battery so I could you know still use the microwave for me morning coffee uh, so like a milky coffee in the morning uh, and uh and then and, and have the laptop and heating and whatever i mean the heating is gas but um it still has a little fan still use a little bit of uh, a little bit of power so to sum up i could have managed in october but i like my luxuries too much uh but after after then i was uh, generally avoiding fireworks dog don't like fireworks for uh for November, uh, I was at, at Gisborne till till late October, uh, but I kept kept having to go and get a get a plug in and uh, and charge. And actually, uh, I'll take you up the graph here to look at the uh, the battery voltages. So it it doesn't mean if it gets to above fourteen uh volts there that it definitely has charged or that if it dropped below 12 that it was uh it, it, it was running out it could be that the voltage was low if there was a particularly large load on it but more often than not um it's it, it it's it's getting low uh I only ever really get down to below 12 on purpose if I'm doing um, doing capacity tests so I know I've got uh, some some power coming up and I'm trying to stay away for as long as long as I can until I have to uh, go go somewhere and charge as, as I did in November uh, but you can see there on the uh, on the voltage graph that uh, you know, I mean, if it doesn't go to f above fourteen in the day, it definitely didn't reach full charge, and that's actually really good for for lithium, just to sit between sort of eighty and twenty percent, and that is what I what I try and do. Later on in November is when I moved to to Healy Nab, where I actually started this channel uh, and did my my first videos from there, and in that I then bought the wood burner to uh well a keep 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 warm when i was on that healing hab job uh and not not go through sort of uh three liters of lpg a day for the for the gas heater and try and get the uh, uh the power power use down but that end of november into december we're just getting you know basically nothing from the solar uh, for the entirety of December, I got eight kilowatt hours, and that was the same for January. And January, I wasn't parked in the best place, but actually at, at Healy Nab, I wasn't too bad. It's just that the the rear facing panel wasn't facing the sun, but it's the space that I were I had and where I needed to have the awning and the equipment. Uh, that was the way I, I had to park so it wasn't ideal could have got a little bit more basically that's when uh, when I was when I was there for a month and having to use the Jenny a lot that's when I decided to get the uh, the new inverter charger so I could charge faster off the generator thinking that I would have to do that uh, when I was up here um, where I am now in, in the lakes but as it happened with a few things that happened in February I didn't get up here in late January February by the time I got up here is when the solar was all kicking off and as you can see we've we've had such a good a good time um anyway I hope that um, has helped you uh, <coughs> now I hope that uh, actually next winter I'll be able to do things differently and uh well but basically angle the panels because i know that they that works better and i've i've started being able to do that but i haven't finished the setup on on the panels to get them into a working and strong enough um angle uh angle position the problem is basically wind i really don't want wind to to get them and take them so uh i've got to make sure that's beefy enough 
but um you know i know i've got a big solar setup so you know two two kilowatts of solar but if you've got a 200 watt panel that's you can just divide everything by 10 so where where i'm getting uh in september and march was getting 80 kilowatts uh for the month then then you'd get eight on a on a 200 watt panel mounted flat to a van not the ideal but that's what i've got that's what most people have got so this data will hopefully be uh comparable and you, and you can see that that um i mean it's basically six to eight weeks either side of the winter solstice well, obviously weather depends a little bit as well well weather dependence but on whether it's six or eight weeks um on the but as soon as you get uh you know i either side of that and that's like 50 days and i've put some little markers uh at um uh that that's um you know it's yeah 50 days either side of the solstice 100 days for the year you know it's, it's a it's a chunk of the year it's a quarter of the year so that's it's it, you know you need you need a plan if you rely on solar like i do you definitely need an alternative plan to get through winter basically no matter how much solar you've got Does this look stupid? I'm trying not to uh, blind myself with the sun but uh, get you this lovely backdrop and show you all the solar panels you know i'm trying to be a bit artic i'm trying to, I'm trying to do some youtube in here <laughs> 